So we have seen the chit, the meaning of chit is gnana swarupaha. We have seen the but meaning of gnana, the meaning is gnapti swarupaha and meaning of gyapti is mere consciousness. Is called consciousness. So I have written something here. In all the time, in day, we are seeing many different types of objects. We are seeing many different types of people. So once I have told, but I have written here, if somebody asks, what is this? Then we used to say, this is port. Actually not, but whatever, let's say it's port. But the when we say this is port, the meaning is, I know this is the port. If somebody asks, what is this? We say, this is a clock. But the meaning is, I know this is a clock. And then we keep on changing the object. Then every time we say, this is this, this is this. So I have written here. So if port is in front of us, we say, this is port. But meaning is, I know this is a port. If we, I show a bangle, then we say, yes, I know this is the bengal. If I see the cell phone, we say, yeah, this is called, I know this is cell phone. Same way, I know this is the computer. I know this is book. I know this is pen. This is a marker. I know this is a watch. Then I can ask, do you know English? So the person says, yes, I know English. So we say, yes. I know English. Then if I ask, do you know Chinese? What you say is, no, I don't know Chinese. But again, you have to say, no, I know, I don't know. Whenever they say, when you say, I don't know, means you know that I don't know. So in there also, we have to say, yes, no. I know, I don't know. I keep on asking, do you know how to speak French? So he says, you, you may say, I don't know. But you say, I know, I don't know French. I don't know Sanskritam, I don't know. There is a long list of I don't know. But whenever we say, I don't know, that we know, I don't. So whole world can be divided into things. I know and I don't know. But both I know also I know and even I don't know also I know. This I know without any specification is called chit. Because of this consciousness, we can say, yes, I know this. And because of this consciousness, we can say, yes, I don't know this. In Keno Upanishad, it says, viditam aviditam. It's in clearly there. Viditam means I know, aviditam means I don't know. And this consciousness can give strength to both. I know also, I don't know also. This is called jnana. It is called yaktisvarup. Even if you think in whole waking state, we keep on telling, I know what I don't. But in dream, we ask what you have seen. So then we, again, we say, I saw this, this picture at that time also. I know I saw this much in dream. And even we go to sleep. And after completing our sleep, we, we used to say, I had good sleep. But at that time also we say, I know I had good sleep. So this I know is common all over the three states. This I know is called jnana. Our real nature is gyapti. Gnanam, it is better you remember as a gyapti son. So our real nature is mere consciousness. This all object will come and go. All different type of language, whether we know or don't know, will come and go. All planets, whatever, inside the universe, will come and go. But this, I know, will remain as it is. 
So really speaking, when I say I know, know means knowledge, it is called gyapti. We can call it as a chit. Here it is given as a chit. And this I, you know, this I and no, you cannot separate. So I means I means sat. So sat and chit is always together. We can't say this is sat, this is chit. When we say I means chit, and we say no means uh, I means sat, and no means chit. Sat and chit always together. And even we can say sat eva chit, chit eva sat. Both are one and same only. Thus, we have given to make them exist and we have given the name Sat. And, and this Sat is not Jada. To give the name, we have called it Chit. But Sat and Chit is nothing but mere consciousness. So, same in Kena Upanishad, there is the one, there are many sentences are available. So, it says, Yat Vacha An Abhyuditam Yena Vak Abhyudyate. Yet consciousness of unabhudita cannot be defined by vacha, by our speech, but yen consciousness, by which consciousness vaga abhudyate, vag can start speaking because of which that Brahma, that is called Brahma, and who are this? Tvambhiti Shastra. This is you only. Yena vag, same way yet manasana manute. Yet Brahma, Manasa, by mind, cannot think it of. No Manute means cannot think. Who yet means Brahman consciousness. And by whom? Manasa. So consciousness cannot be thought of by mind. But because of consciousness, Manaha Mata, man starts, mind starts thinking. So because of which mind can be like. Yet Chakshushana Pashyati, consciousness cannot able to see with this term of Chakshu, but because of this, Chakshu can start seeing all objects. Yet Shrotrena Nashunati, we would like to hear the voice of consciousness. So he says, Yet consciousness, Nashunati, cannot able to hear by what Shrotrena, by our ears, but yen by which. Shrotram, idam shrutam, by, by which even ear can start to hearing all. Tadeva Brahma tam vidhi nedam yadidam upasa. It is given in the meaning of all of our even sense organs, even our mind, even this whole gross body is lying because of which are called chit. And we are. Our real nature is chit only. That's why I have written, there is a no two things, sat eva chit, chit eva sat. So both are one and say, if we say sat, then it is the same. And if we say sat, both are one, chit is equal to sat, sat is equal to chit. Existence and consciousness, there are no two reality, both are one and say. Today I was thinking I will explain this na tatra surya vasi na chandra dhara. But I think it will be heavy. Maybe they cannot able to understand. So we'll skip. Sometime we will see. Every day when we are doing karpur arti, you know, we are chanting this mantra na tatra surya vasi na chandra dhara kam na ima vidyuto bhanti kuto yamak nehi tameva bhanti tameva bhantam anubhati sarva. We will see next time. It is difficult, maybe. Now, last one. Sat came, Chit came, and last one is Ananda Kaha. What is the Ananda? Then, answer is given Sukhasvarupa. It is in the form of happiness. So what is the meaning of Sukhasvarupa in which way? So here I have written in the term of Anandya. 
It is the turn of limitlessness. It is called Anandya. Because in Taitya Yogniya, Satyam Gyanam Anandam is written. So Anandam means it is a limitless. So limitless means we have seen many times, but still it is a not bound by. It is a not limited by three things. Again, saying Deshata ha, Kalata ha, Vastu ta. This. Ananda means it is not bound by time, it is not bound by any space, it is not bound by any object, anything. So whenever we say it is not bound by time, so again, not bound by time, the meaning is if it is bound by time, then there is a birth. If there is a birth, so again death will come. So whenever we say it is not bound by time, means is nitya. Only one word I would like to write here is a nitya, eternal. Kalataha. In say it is called kalataha abadita. <coughs> now deshata. Here desha. Is not Bharat Desha, Sri Lanka Desha, but here Desha means any space. It is not bound by any space. Right now, if I am sitting here, so I am not available in our Kuchi. If I am sitting here, so I am not available in Korbanda. If I am sitting here, I am not available anywhere. So I am right now is limited by this space where I am sitting. But when Shastra says it is not bound by any type of space, the meaning is sarva vyapaka. Which is, is given sarva gatam. In Gita, just now we have seen is gatam. All are one and same. It's called all pervading. There is a no, even space when consciousness is not good. In when we are studying in our science, they used to give, if suppose there is a beaker, we fill it with water, we put water inside, and we add salt, we start studying. What will happen? This whole, this is dissolved, dissolved, dissolved. One time it will come, this salt, we cannot able to dissolve more. Then what we used to do in our, we can put burner. Again, we start give heat and it starts boiling. Again, if we put some salt, no, it melts. Again, it dissolves. So in some time, some after some time, it is a totally, we can say, is a saturated solution of salt. The means we cannot add any pinch of a salt inside this solution, it is called saturated. Means in this water, whole water is nothing but what? Full of salt on. It is called saturated solution. Same way, when we say this whole universe, I'm not saying even Prithvi was, whole universe is pervading by only one thing, it is, this is called chit, consciousness. And which type of consciousness? This is Vijaya Swamiji's word, throbbing consciousness. Throbbing means we can feel it. It is called throbbing. So whole universe is pervaded by this chit. It's called deshataha abhadita. Kalataha abhadita means nitya. When we say it is a by place, it is not bound by any place, means it is everywhere. And every way means it is like a saturated solution of consciousness. Everywhere, whenever we are always with consciousness only, it is called deshata. So I can write here the vastutaha means nitya. Sorry, vastutani. We can say kalataha, we can say nitya, deshataha. Then we can say 
सर्वव्यापक सो माय नेचर इज चित आई एम कॉन्शियसनेस व्हिच आई एम नॉट बाउंड बाय टाइम दैट्स व्हाई आई एम नित आई एम इटरनल एंड दैट इटरनल इज नॉट सिटिंग इन वन कॉर्नर दिस इटरनल माय स्वरूप इज ऑल परवेड सो आई एम ऑल ओवर द यूनिवर्स दिस इज सेकंड फीचर्स इज सर्वव्यापक एंड नाउ इफ आई आस्क total how many space akash is available it all for it what we say there are many spaces if somebody says who just how he says many spaces are there and there is much space inside this that person is there many spaces so if space is all for it then there is a no second space same way this is when say this consciousness is also deshata means if space is the all from reading there is a no second this way to prove this shastra says vastutah also it is not bound by any object also if i say again this is the clock means except this clock this clock cannot become anything because it is limited with this clock all object we named any object all are limited by their own name and then all four but when we say this consciousness is not bound by any vastuta and is sarva vyapaka it means it is only ek and shastra says advitiyam it can be not second thing this is called our real nature ekameva advitiyam i am only one sarva vyapaka there is a no second thing a last one is called nitya i am eternal and never die if one who has this jnana then what we may say i am a sukh swarupa i am ananda swarupa that's why it is written if you to ananda when we are in pain when we can have pain when we compare ourselves with others when we have some jealousy when there are many things are there but there is nothing with whom we can fight with whom we can jealous there is a no second thing so always it is for ananda so ananda is just giving the meaning okay without you what without anything what you feel is the only experience of happiness not can be unhappiness this way satyam gnanam ananda sat chit ananda there is a story you know if he is very heavy you know there is a one story one person went to puja swami ji he says now i have atma gyan means that person claims i have atma gnana he says i have atma gnani i know i'm all pervading i know i am eternal i know everything but other people don't know no i am atmagnan then there are lots of problem because i i am atmagnani but other people they bully me they beat me they they want to put down me so what i do because i am atmagnani but nobody knows i am atmagnani so how can i live my life in sansara this is his problem then swami ji has given one story in story he says he says there is a one person and he has some psychiatric problem that person is and he thinks i am a worm you know like small worm i am a worm it is he was thinking because he has some problem so he never comes out from his house because there are many birds like here in our ashram many trees are there many birds are available same he used to live in one his apartment or bungalow so this apartment was surrounded by trees and trees he say if i come out then all birds can watch me can see me they will pick up me and i will be die because they will be, they will eat me all birds so he can never come out and these all family members are tired to 
keep on telling how can you be wrong you are a person you are a human being that says no i know i am a wrong then they have taken this person to doctor psychiatric doctor then doctor what doctor has done he has brought one big mirror he has kept in front of this person then he has brought one long wall and again he is hanging that wall in front of mirror and he says you keep your face then he says now you see at this wall yeah he says this is wall do you look like this wall he says no again doctor says and he did for 6 months doctors did this for 6 months always starts comparing you are not warm you are a human being who may after 6 months he is atmagnana which type of atmagnana i know i am a human being and he claims i am a human being the doctor says now he is normal just go all over the earth he can move anywhere let's try from here because he never come out no because he always afraid these birds can eat me the doctor says you start here only you go out from this clinic nobody will you with you you just go by walk he went out when he went out this clinic also there are some trees were there trees the birds are there he heard the voice of this old chirping of the birds he ran away again he went in the front of doctor and he told doctor 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 there are birds they are sitting on the tree to say no problem you know you are not wrong you are human being he say i know i am a human being but the bird don't know ke <laughs> whether i am human being or i am a bird if they will eat me then what will happen it is very laughing no same way this atmagnani says i am atmagnani you know but these other people they don't know whether i am atmagnani or not this is the problem people say you know i understand everything if person is understand everything if person is self knowledge of everything then that person never afraid with anyone because ekameva dvitiyam to with whom one has to fight this atmagnana removes the fear from our mind it's uh, given in tetri upanishad na viveti kutashchana that person cannot afraid with anyone because that person knows i am available in each and every being whether that person knows or doesn't know it does a different thing but atmagnani knows that's why what is the another reason of atmagnani having atmagnana what will happen to me or what so this is fear will go fear of other people fear of death fear of limitation own fear because we always afraid i know this much this other person knows too much i know i will going at this i will die i know this people always put down me they are afraid with many things this fear will go nabi bendi kutash chane this in mantra taitri upanishad is this so the result of atma gnana so let's see this is strike me if we know i am not bound by time then i have no fear of death because i am next to her if i know i am not even bound by any place or space so i know with whom i have to fight everything is me only and there is only me so with whom i can be afraid so whole bhaya will be so somebody says what is the ultimate message of vedanta it is tvam purna the message means you are the whole this is the message except you nobody is here you are the whole tvam purna without any limitation without any boundary you are the whole this line is not given in uh, i think tatva boda but i was reading one book it is written like this evam 
सच्चिदानंद स्वरूप स्थूल सूक्ष्म कारण शरीर व्यतिरिक्त पंच कोश अतीत इन अवस्था त्रय साक्षी इसको एवं इन दिस मेनर एंड आत्मा वन से माई रियल नेचर सच्चिदानंद स्वरूप एंड वी हैव सीन द मीनिंग सत त्रिकाल अपितिष्टी चित्त मीन्स कॉन्शियसनेस एंड आनंद मीन्स विच इज नॉट लिमिटेड बाय एनी लिमिटलेस वी जानी आप वन शुड नो दिस we have to know this is our real nature by knowing this what will happen i always used to say all our confusion our all the complexes will go this why i have written just for information many knowledge is are available in this earth it's all called aparamiti science is a start from physics chemistry biology medical science there are many sciences are available in science they say there is a totally different gnana of art there is a total different art of dance music there is even literature there are many type of knowledge but we can have not all knowledge is at the same time then again we have some feeling i know this i don't know this it always give to feel our helplessness but if we know one gnana what's the name of that gnana so i have written is tarana vidya the knowledge to cross tarana means cross and what is the name of tarana vidya is called atma vidya the knowledge of self tattva gnana consider as tarana vidya with the help of this we can cross the sansara and what is the meaning of sansara sansara means i have problem whatever sitting in our mind is called sansara by knowing we can cross this let me finish this there is a one small story is given in brindavanika yagya valki rushi is very famous even everybody knows nowadays yagya valki he has two wives one is called maitri and another is called katyaya yagya valki rushi lived a very good life then he has planned to take sanyasa so when he has planned to take sanyasa so whatever he has asset wealth whatever he has distributed in both of his wives so he has given katyaya any some portion and he has given some portion to maitre so katya yani has no question she satisfied whatever husband is given she didn't ask but maitre has asked yagya valki rushi what you have given to me whatever wealth or cattle by this can we get for which you are living this life so definitely can i get for which you are living the life So Yagya will be rushy. Says, how can it possible? This what I have given because of which you can sustain your life. But I am living this life, growth the life, and I am become sannyasi because now I I know who I am. But I would like to live that. Like. So he says, by gaining this wealth, can I become like you? Then he says, it is not next impossible. Then Maitre says, now you teach me how. by knowing which i can also be like you then he is starting teaching and there is a very good line is famous in bhradaranya atma vare drashtavya shrotavya mantavya nidhyasitavya atma vare drashtavya the drashtavya means like clock i am looking is not drashtavya but wants to understand what is the meaning of self atma means i am you should understand drashtavya and to understand atma you have gone to three things shrotavya you have to do shravanam what we have seen and you should have lots of question so you have to do mananam reflection 
and the Vidyasi Kavya. This is called assimilation. Contemplation. If you do properly, then you can understand what is who I am. So here I can say one topic is over. Until now, in Tattva Bodha, we have completed Adhikaritvam portion, Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampanna, and now we have finished also Atma Tattva Viveka. Atma Tattva Viveka means Atma is separate from this body, mind, sense complex. Sola Sukshma Sharira and Atma Tattva. From Monday, we will start Jagat Uttpatti. So how this whole Jagat is created? Detail we will see from Monday. Om Puranamada Puranamidam Puranat Puranamudachyate Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Guru Purnamada Hari Om